I, well, I'm still Tony and we are still building a cruising sailboat. And uh, this week is all about the trim tab, the wind vane trim tab, which is quite, quite a palaver, really. As you may know, I'm a bit averse to using anything but bronze under the waterline. And so, uh, um, yes, that's an issue. Well, an issue, but that's taken a bit of work. And also, I I don't know if it was a wise decision, but I decided to use 6,000 grade aluminium straps for the upper bearing sort of trim tab and obviously um, bolting those on with a different metal of bolt, in this case, uh, 316 stainless bolts. But I need to insulate the bolts from the aluminium straps. <sighs> I probably made myself a lot of work there, to be honest. But anyhow, I've done it. And this is what's coming up, plus a few other bits and bobs. Um, I also I have a lot of bronze left over from the uh, the kill bolts that uh, that went a bit awry, and um, so I decided I needed a couple of bronze bolts. I decided to turn them up myself, make them. Obviously, I don't make hexagonal heads, but it's easy enough if if you, if they don't need to be really tight, it's easy enough to tighten them up with some grips with round heads um, and the, the threaded bolt section the stud section is easy enough to make so i do that and that's what's coming up now if you like these sort of videos um please subscribe because it's a great way to support the channel thanks Going through. So we filled, we drilled, filled and drilled last time, and I've sanded it back, pretty much back to the uh, to the epoxy, taking the primer sealer off there. I'm going to glue this lower bearing on. And I've made these bronze bolts that go through because um, I had some bronze and I didn't want to spend the money, <laughs> so I made them myself. But I think now I'm only going to put one in. 
and I've also got some bronze screws. I'm going to put one through bolt in and some bronze screws and epoxy the whole thing in position and that should be good I hope. The problem is trying to get through exactly in the middle of the... I'm going to come through from both sides of the epoxy. There's the hole there. You can start in the middle of the epoxy easily, but, but all the way through... Frankly, it involves a bit of guesswork, uh, but I've got it. Amazingly, amazingly, we've gone straight through. Right, let's get out bigger now. Down to a big one, I think. Now yeah, we should go straight through the middle easy enough now. Guide itself through. Do a bit from both oh. sides again. Yes, to be on the south side. Through, eh? Through. And epoxy all the way, which is lovely, which means it's sealed. Homemade washers. I even made the washers. Look at that. Oh. That's not bad, is it? Now we'll put the trim tab on there, and uh, then I'll drill and screw, screw it with the wood screws for the rest of that. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad. It's a cool tool you have, by the way. It's a mallet. What's the difference between this and hammer? Well, it's wood. Yeah, okay. Well, mallets are wood or rubber, basically speaking. What's the difference between this and a wooden hammer? Uh, I've never heard anybody call a wooden thing a hammer. Uh -huh. Well, apart from a state hammer, I suppose that's a hammer. But no, if it, it's a matter. It's for, it's for hitting chisels, so you don't mess up your chisels. Uh -huh. um, okay. And it's a mallet. All right. When we put it on with epoxy, that will squidge up this hole and I'll just smooth that off, it'll be, that'll be fine. No doubt that'll be far too much. <laughs> that's, that's too much. Absolutely guaranteed to be too much there. I think. Guaranteed, I think. <laughs> well, I might just get away with it. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. You fall in a bit faster than I anticipated, but that's fine. Uh, it's around here. With my horrible spreader. Oh. No, 
So the screws, I've got washers for them and I've countersunk the washers so the heads fit in there nicely. And then all we've got to do is find the right spot for the holes. And I think that's actually in, isn't it? You see that's oozed out there, that's nice, isn't it? Under there, you mean? Yeah. No, here, through right. that hole, it's oozed, yeah. see? It's good, doesn't it? Well, big ooze. Yeah, good. Looks like you mixed up enough epoxy as well. Does, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We've drilled the rudder for the upper bearing for the trim tab and now I'm going to bolt it on temporarily then I can drill a lower one and then we can measure the distance that this needs extending so as it clears the top of the tiller and then we can take it all off again drill and fill those holes and that'll be it for today come back tomorrow quite likely redrill <laughs> and actually fit it. be a little bit higher wouldn't it so I'm gonna raise that up so it's a good inch and a half even two inches if I possibly can I see what I've got in the way of this material if I can make it slightly longer or, or I just make a space of it sits on there and then that sits there and then the straps are coming above the waterline you see which should be better and then another one I think in the middle of that really Somewhere in here, I think. Yeah, I want that one about there somewhere. How's yeah, that? I would move the middle one up a little bit I'll still. There. Is that a spot? Okay. Okay, that one, you tell me what you do. Yeah, I think that looks good. Just about long enough, which is fine. It's got to clear the top of the rudder, so it could be an inch shorter, but not much more. And we need some kind of bracket that comes on here somewhere that supports it up here. 
All right. Looking good, isn't it? Yeah. Drilled and filled. Check. Yes. So I'm gonna pack up now and get out of there, really. So we're back in the workshop now with uh, the trim tab and uh, I need to make sure all of this stainless is insulated from the aluminium. Prepare that. I've got this extension piece that needs a bit of work done on it. It's a little bit too long and there's a T on the top. I also want to keep it removable here so I'm going to make a, a clever mechanical fitting here that allows me to lock it in position but remove it um, and then I've got a couple more bearing blocks to make um, here's one of my insulation insulating sleeves I've got to I say I've got to make some insulating washers to where the stainless bolts go through the aluminium and uh, get all that ready so we can finally fit the thing it's been an eternity anyhow we're on target time wise is not an issue but uh, time to go on This is my gasket punch set, so snap on set of hole punches, basically speaking. They go on, on the thing and you whack it with a hammer um, in different, as you can see, inch sizes. Oh, I don't know if you can see, I'll come in closer, maybe you can see there. And it's very good. central my holes off center oh, no. I don't know what I did with the big flat washer Oh, look at you, tidying up. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Okay. 
This is yeah. incredible. That, that is so cool. I love that engine with the wheel on it. <laughs> Brilliant. Here's the rest of the mighty vehicle. Eh? Yeah. I have to say this, but it looks cooler. <laughs> so the actual cylinder's under this plastic yeah. cover, then, eh? Yeah. yeah. So you're going to. Open it up and have a little look. Definitely, yeah. See what's wrong with that. Yeah. Oh, it's exactly on. <laughs> that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. This with a couple of washers on it goes through there, cut the thread a little bit longer, and that will be tidy on there, holding all that lot supported. Just need to cut this thread a bit longer. And now I bought a new die holder that actually fits this die. The last time you saw me doing it, I had it spanned between the screws in the die holder that was too big. But I got the right one now, so here we go. That is a nice die holder as well. under the head in the house. There's my homemade nut which is fine on there. So I'm just gonna make a washer to put under that head. Shall we? <laughs> Let that cool down, it's too hot to touch. But there we are, there's our washer. Yeah, like that. I'll just tighten that up, cut that off. That will support the bottom end of that. That will be on there. Cut that off. 
And there we go. That's it for this week. Thank you for watching. Um, as ever, a massive, and I mean it, a massive thank you to the lovely people who support us via Patreon and PayPal. And if you'd like to support the channel, support the project, the link to Patreon is coming up or in the video description, there's a link to the PayPal me or PayPal me or whatever you call it, where you can support the channel for as little as the price of a cup of coffee a month. All right, see you next time. Bye.